Hello and welcome to another Helio short clip about the major release 2023. This short video is about a new tool, the Helio Server Monitor. This small tool can be installed separately on any number of computers. It is mainly used by administrators because it is intended to keep an eye on our server applications permanently. You can see immediately if an, if an application on one of the servers has an error or is no longer executable. You can then intervene directly. The Helio Server Monitor, for example, appears here in the trays with the small green, red or orange dot. I will explain the meaning of the colors in a moment. We open the application here. This is what the Helio Server Monitor looks like. First, let's add two applications. Here at the top right you can choose what you want to add first. For example, I add a vault server here and specify the computer on which it runs. Below you can directly determine the name. You can also assign special names for the tool if you want to. You can also determine the version. This is, for example, information that may be useful if there are several vault servers or several spoolers in a company. This is the monitoring interval defining how often the server is requested, whether it is still running. I confirm with OK and have already added the first application. Next, I quickly add a spooler. Again, simply specify the server on which it runs. Again, you can then have the name and version determined automatically. You can also add a log file here. Here, I can, for example, take the log file from the Helio spooler and store it. You could also display directly in the tool the corresponding log file from the server. Now we have added two servers. In addition, you can define in the settings whether the tool should be executed automatically at startup and whether I want to have a notification by sound or message box if a server returns a message, for example, that it is no longer executable or other errors have occurred. In that case, I would get a message in the middle of the screen. Let's take a closer look at what happens when a server is no longer running. To do this, I have called the services here. This is where the Helios Vault server runs. I would end it now. The tool will then permanently monitor the Vault server. At the next monitoring interval, it sees that the Vault server is no longer running. You will then, according to the selected settings, hear a beep and also see a message on the screen. The administrator then immediately knows that something is wrong with the server application and can intervene accordingly. In the middle, you can see a short description of the event. The more detailed description can then be found in the corresponding log files. Now, let's switch the vault server on again. It is now starting. Green means executable, red means that the server application is no longer running at all. Now I'll show you what happens if, for example, a runtime error occurs. Here is the Helio spooler. To do this, we now take a file with a high cut part and try to print it. So we try to create a PDF file from a part file. That will, of course, fail. So we are now trying to create a PDF file from a part file.
Let's take a look at the Helios server admin tool. Here we see that it failed. If we now look at the server monitor tool, here we have the orange state. The Helios spooler is running, but it has a job that it could not process, so the administrator can now intervene. Orange therefore means a runtime error within the application. The application is still running, but a job has failed. When I remove the job, the display changes back to green. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you soon.